Cognito Stream, security teams are empowered with the rich network context necessary to build custom tooling and feed models to detect, investigate, and hunt. Delivered in open source Zeek format, it seamlessly integrates security insights into data lakes and sims without the overhead and scale limitations of self-deployments. Cognito Stream extracts hundreds of metadata attributes from broad network traffic and presents them in a compact, easy to understand Zeek format. Vectra also uses its core machine learning engines and extracts security insights that are then embedded into the metadata. This will, this will include things like beaconing activity, domain rarity, privilege, and host ID. Together, these provide powerful building blocks that threat hunters can combine with their own expertise to quickly reach conclusions. And deployments are quick and easy. Organizations can typically deploy in 30 minutes or less. Sensors collect metadata from different parts of the network, including cloud, data center, and campus. The sensors connect to a central entity that deduplicates the flows and runs the host identification and enrichment algorithms. Cognito Stream then delivers it to a data lake or SIM that can be running in the cloud or on-premise. Now let's take a look at what that experience looks like. We have a deployment where Cognito Stream has forwarded Zeek formatted network metadata into an instance of Splunk. From here, you can build your own dashboards and custom models specific to your use case. Today, let's focus on a hunting scenario where we'll look for lateral movement activity. We'll begin by looking for PowerShell activity. And we'll see, we'll see that there's instances of activity between several different hosts. We'd be able to also look at the metadata itself in order to see the native network behavior, as well as those that have been inserted by Cognito's AI engines. We'd also be able to run subsequent queries in order to see activities between pairs of hosts. As an example, we, look, we can look at activity between Jackson P and Shan FS and specifically look for RPC traffic. When we look at the RPC traffic, we can see bursts of activity between the two, likely setting up their connection. We'd also be able to run a subsequent query in order to confirm whether files have been transferred between the two, in this case, specifically looking at it over SMB. Seeing these together, you'd be able to see PowerShell RPC traffic, as well as SMB file transfers, as good evidence of the likelihood of lateral movement between the two hosts. For more information about Cognito Stream, visit Vectra.ai or your local Vectra representative.